The train services along the Kaduna Buja Road have resumed operations after eight months and seven days halted service by the Nigerian Railway Corporation, the NRC. The suspension followed by the 28 March terrorist attack that left at least eight people dead, injured 26 several orders and more than 60 passengers were kidnapped. Earlier, the managing director of uh, the Nigerian Railway Corporation, Fida Tokira, who announced the resumption, said only two return services will run for now with an upward review in ticket prices. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Darifai monitored the train service and now reports. The Rigasa train terminal is wearing a new look with heavy presence of armed security operatives. Surveillance cameras have also been mounted on walls there to improve monitoring and safety. One of the measures put in place to enhance security and safety of passengers is the mandatory requirement to provide their national identification number before they are allowed to board the train. The first train departed the station today at 8 a.m. and arrived at the Idu terminal in Abuja at around 10 a.m. with several seats empty in the 644 capacity train. The low turnout passengers was as a result of it being the first boarded train after the attack, hike in the price of the tickets of 3,500 naira for economic seat and fear of the unknown. Some of the passengers that boarded the early morning train were excited at the resumption and expressed delight, saying it's the fastest means of transportation and commended the measures put in place and more proactive security measures. An increase in the number of uh, security personnel, especially um, police within the premises, and I can see that some of them have also been at the, in, in, within the different coaches of the train, which is quite commendable. I think it's, a, I think it's good but there may still be a need for improvement as time goes on. While others said there is need for more security measures, some others highlighted challenges faced in boarding the train. They could at least secure the open parts. You know, if you go forward, the other places are very open. So the train, everybody can assess it in the night, you get. So if possible, they should like fence it, if possible, although it's going to be a very hard one. They called on the federal government to intensify security efforts to ensure safety of the passengers. This is very important. If they can uh, continue on this one and ensure that every person that is buying ticket or coming into the train has been well identified and his record are there, I, I think when anything happens, it's very easy for the government to trace, to trace things. And people that don't have this particular identification will not easily come into the, uh, into the train. Earlier, the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, ordered an increased deployment of armed personnel ahead of the commencement of railway services along the Abuja Kaduna route and assured passengers of their safety. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.